Next story. NYTimes.com Orgasmic Learning Booster Mirage Study Casts Doubt on Sex Brain Connection Magdalena McDonough 3 to 4 minutes A recent study that sent shockwaves through the scientific community by suggesting orgasms could supercharge learning has hit a snag. New research from a separate team paints a less rosy picture, finding that the reported cognitive boost only appears under highly controlled conditions, not in the bedroom. The original study published in Nature Neuroscience, claimed that electrical stimulation of the brain's pleasure centers, mimicking an orgasm, significantly improved memory retention in participants. This effect was on par with the boost seen after three hours of REM sleep. The news sparked excitement about the potential to harness the power of pleasure for enhanced learning. However, the latest research, published in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, throws cold water on these claims. Their team replicated the electrical stimulation experiment with similar results, but when they tested the effect with natural orgasms achieved through sexual activity, they found no discernible cognitive improvement. Our findings suggest the link between orgasms and memory consolidation may be more nuanced than initially proposed, explains Dr. Amelia Sanchez, lead author of the new study. While electrical stimulation seems to produce the effect, we couldn't detect it in participants who experienced orgasm through sexual activity. The discrepancy between the two studies could have multiple explanations. The electrical stimulation directly targets specific brain regions, while natural orgasms involve a more complex interplay of hormones and neural pathways. Additionally, the controlled laboratory setting of the first study might not accurately reflect the varied physical and emotional states of real-world sexual experiences. In hindsight, the orgasm cognition link was clearly an absurd finding, said a Harvard neuroscientist who donned the cowl of anonymous coward to speak freely. People have been having sex for millennia. If it made people smarter, someone was bound to have noticed before now. This highlights the importance of caution in translating laboratory findings to everyday life, cautions Dr. Sanchez. While the electrical stimulation results are intriguing, we need to be careful not to overextend them to draw conclusions about sexual activity in general. The findings leave the potential for an orgasm learning connection hanging in the balance. Dr. Sanchez emphasizes the need for further research to explore the underlying mechanisms and investigate whether specific types of sexual activity or individual differences could play a role. The quest to unravel the relationship between pleasure and cognition is far from over, she says. While this study adds a layer of complexity, it also opens up new avenues for research to delve deeper into the fascinating dance between the brain and our most intimate experiences. For now, the bedroom may not be the classroom it once seemed. While scientists continue to investigate the intricate link between pleasure and learning, we're left with a reminder that the complexities of the human brain, and our sexual experiences, defy simple generalizations.